I noticed when looking online, there wasn't a lot of unboxings, there wasn't a lot of reviews, I couldn't find a lot of content about avionics stuff, and I was dying to find it. So this blog, website, um, video blog, that's the whole purpose. So as part of this upgrade, My a and recommended I pull out my vacuum system. Because I have an Aspen and a Century 3C Legacy Autopilot, my Legacy 3C Autopilot is being driven by, go figure, my attitude, which is driven by vacuum. So what it became is how do I put an attitude indicator on my panel without spending three to five grand, plus another, in my experience, couple thousand dollars for install. Ta-da! Dynon's D3 pocket panel, about 900 bucks. And I looked at it, synthetic vision, completely independent device, roll indicator, bank, airspeed, um, all that technology built into a device. It is non-certified. So it is not a certified product, but I don't need a certified one because my plane meets the requirements with my Aspen Pro Max. I could Velcro it to my panel, power it off my cigarette lighter adapter, and I'd have my second attitude indicator um, with airspeed, with elevation, all that kind of functionality. I want to show you guys what it is because I couldn't find anyone online one box. Back. So here's what the product looks like. So a little bit thicker than I thought it would be, but really nice form factor. Uh, just one button on the front, uh, only your power button. The rest is a touch screen right now because we're inside a hangar. Of course, it can't get a GPS signal, um, but it's got a little bit of mass to it because of the battery, but a really, really slick product. I've been playing around with it, just literally walking around and tracking it. And it's been super fun. Um, in the box comes, of course, a little quick reference sheet. This is where I got to hand it to Dynon. So Dynon, if you guys watch this, this is one of the coolest things I've seen. So it's a permanently temporary or temporarily permanently um, mount for it. So it's got little spring clips on the back to click into a three inch hole. So you pull out an old instrument, you now suddenly have a hole, you put this in there, then this thing just snaps into it. So it's now a temporary install because obviously no tools and it's not powered from the airplane, but it gives you a permanent feel in that square. Got some little clips on here for your power cord, those types of things. So really cool, that comes in the box. Uh, comes with, of course, a, an external antenna. So this just plugs into the side, little GPS module, stick it on your panel. Also comes with your charging cord, a 120 volt adapter, cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, also comes with a screw on bracket. So for screw holes, screw it on wherever you want to put it, click in, you're good to go. And it comes with a suction cup mount. So a whole little gimbal multi-mechanism there. And then of course the obligatory cleaning cloth with some PSA squares. So amazing product. I love it. It's awesome functionality but I'm sending it back. So it's nothing about the product itself. The product itself is amazing. I think that if you're looking for a backup attitude indicator and you don't need one, you want one, but you don't actually legally need one, that I would recommend this hands down. But for me, what I realized was that if I, if I put this in, then I have to keep my turn and bank indicator. My turn and bank indicator, the bearings are failing, so I really need to have it rebuilt, which is $500 or $1,000 something. And then when I was looking, I realized I could get a UAVionics AV30C, so a certified attitude indicator. But then what I can do is I can remove my turn and bank, and now I have a backup attitude indicator that uses barrel pressure, so it works very similar to the top of my um, top of my Aspen. Has that function? One big thing for me is that my Aspen does not have the AOA upgrade, your angle of attack upgrade, and to add that's a thousand dollars. The, AV, the UAVionics CGR30C includes that. So depending, you know, justifying my own choices that going from, you know, $900 for a D3 to $2,000 for an AV30C, but I gain angle of attack for free, and for my own OCD, then I don't have the cords to a cigarette lighter adapter and maybe the external antenna. I don't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. So for me, that $1,000 difference, obviously I'm probably gonna have another, the way these things go, another $1,000 for install of it. But the great thing is my panel's already opened. Now's a good time to get it in. Gets rid of my vacuum, clears all that up. So Dynon's D3 pocket panel. If you need a non-certified, battery-powered, um, portable device that you can throw in your flight bag, I'd really recommend it. I think it works great. Um, overall, really happy with the product. But for me, it just wasn't the right fit, like I said.